Next Saturday when the Bass softball team opens at Shelby, history will be made as Hall of Fame coach Laura Ford won't be in the third base coach's box for the first time in decades. One of her best pitchers of all time, Hannah Rockhold, newly married last summer, so is now Hannah Slavin, takes over at the helm with the Wildcats. Um, pretty well, you know, we haven't really missed a whole lot of beats. Um, luckily, I was still close with Coach Ford, and so we went to dinner a couple times, and she kind of transitioned me into everything, and we're set to go. That's great. So you mentioned that you, before when we were talking, uh, before this started, you mentioned you were able to keep in contact with the girls even before you started. So how, how did that work out, and how is this going to be a smooth transition for you? Well, I, I've known a number of these girls for years and years, so it's just been a, ma a matter of, you know, getting a hold of them. I still had all their cell phone numbers and, you know, get out to the field. We're going to have some team talks here and then, um, you know, they've kind of latched on to everything that we've asked them to do. So that's helped make it a successful start here. Graduated in 2006 from Bath. Correct. Was this a dream someday to come back and take over for Coach Ford? Yeah, absolutely. You know, after I graduated from college, I went into education and always had that hope that at some point I would get an opportunity to coach at an elite school. And it just so happened to be back at my home school at Bath. We've got Alyssa here, second baseman, outfielder, getting ready for this season. Uh, what are you most looking forward to about this particular season with, uh, with a new coach and, and just getting back out on the diamond? Uh, I'm just looking forward to having another good year like we did last year, my freshman year. Just getting back outside and actually playing instead of being stuck in a gym is feeling great. You obviously have speed no matter what you're playing, basketball, soccer, uh, softball. Which sport do you feel utilizes your speed the best? Um, I don't really know because I do three different things uh -huh. with either sport, all sports, so I just try to do my best with it every time. She's, that's a nice asset to have as a coach, isn't it? it? It certainly is. You know, we can look for her to get on base and, and move her and, and utilize her as a, an extreme tool. And aside from Melissa, who else are you looking to to kind of take the lead this season? Well, we have our battery back from last year with Kimmy and Julian. So, you know, um, each and every time they t step on the field, they'll be successful. And then we also have um, Jenna Holler, Ellie Dakin, and a number of other girls that played varsity last year and got some time. Regional appearance last year, 26-2, and two, ran the table in the Western Buckeye League to the Bath Wild Kittens. How much were you watching how Bath has done over the past 10 years? Reading the newspaper, watching online, going to games, right. you know, how much were you paying attention? Um, I always kept close tabs on them. Any time I could get there, I was always at the games, and um, especially with my job, I was able to get there with, you know, Lots of home games, even if I was only catching an inning here or there. And I've supported them through their other sports as well. So it's always maintained that close relationship. And the WBO is always so competitive. So have you been able to keep track of the league as well, not just Bath, and, and figure out who your main opponents are going to be and, and what you're going to need to do to succeed in the, in the WBO? Right. Um, I, I coached a little bit into the junior high level. So I was able to see some of those girls that will ultimately be at the varsity level. And, you know, we have several different teams that will compete for the WBL and so we can't roll over at any time. It's going to be a matter of coming out and competing each and every game. What differences are there in your coaching philosophy or style from Coach Ford? Um, I would say, you know, Coach Ford just, you know, she had kind of that aura around yeah. her at all times and I would say I'm a little more laid back in some situations and, um, you know, we're, we're transitioning into some new things, trying to start a couple new traditions, but Overall, in a lot of ways, the way the game is taught, it will be pretty similar. Would you like to share those traditions? Are they top secret? No, you know, it's just <laughs> it, just little things we might okay. do or say in the dugout. It's, it's not too much changing, but mm -hmm. a lot of it will remain the same. Yeah. And the team gets started, you mentioned, next Saturday for their first scrimmage. So what are you looking for when the first time they take the field this season? You know, we've already done some live hitting and live pitching um, off of our own pitchers, but I'm looking forward to seeing it, you know, against other pitchers, how we compete on the field, and just really how we come together as a team. Melissa, what's softball season like for you? Is it more laid back? Does it feel different than the other seasons? Uh, yeah, I feel like it's more laid back than the other sports, and I feel like we just have more, not freedom, but more like, I don't know how to explain it. There's more it's, downtime. Yeah, so. and I love being outside, and it's just being outside just makes it a lot better than being inside in the gym and stuff. So, One of the first things I remember when I came to Lyme was Bath was the only softball team that did cheers. Have you talked <laughs> some of those cheers to – they're clapping over there. You can't see them off camera. But 
Have you, have you brought back some of those chairs? Or, I we have, saw some last year too. I have not brought any back. <laughs> we'll kind of wait and see how things go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but you know, when I was in school, that was still one of the high traditions. And so we'll see what happens this year. Mm.